These Thai bananas, they don't go spotty, so it looks like an unripe banana, but it's fucking ripe. They're just so tasty, man. Best bananas in the world, I reckon. Melt in your mouth, man. But they don't go spotty. Some ask me, why are there so many fake people in the ball food movement? I don't know. I think it's partly due. This is my little, little theory. A lot of people come into raw foods lifestyle with aesthetics motivation. And they've got that aesthetics motivation to be better than other people. To get more attention or whatever. Look at me. This is what I'm doing. And that's cool. I think that's the main reason there's so many fake people. It's so competitive and cutthroat. I mean, it's sort of like... We had the Woodstock Fruit Festival, fantastic concept, great idea, became this corporate, just me, me, me thing, just like, this crazy infighting, you know, Doug getting paid, you know, $50,000 to turn up, spends most of the time at the retreat inside his cabin or talking with this little clique group. Other people, you know, finding that out, not being too happy with that, or, or just, and then there's just this whole infighting thing going on. Uh, then the next year came a little bit better, but then it got a bit more corporate. And then 2013, just things just hit the fan with us. And then we thought, we'll create a little Thai fruit festival. Then with uh, some people that said, yeah, we'll take care of the Facebook page, Derek and Hannah, they turned out to be really uh, cobras amongst the meerkats and just gone crazy, man, just slagging us off on the net. So we thought, okay, fuck that, we'll do our own event and we'll organise it. And so we don't have to, you know, don't have to, don't have to uh, control any babies, throwing toys at the pram, etc. It's it's just it's just fucking nuts, man. It's nuts. You got so many people that say love and hugs and talk about like Doug talks so professionally and shit, but in real life, it's not the case. It's not the case as evidenced. It's just like <laughs> I did a post on Facebook saying if you want more information sending me an email, blah, blah, blah. So people have been doing that and I've been sending out my side as a story. It's quite interesting stuff that people, most people who see us on the internet think we're assholes, etc. Then they meet some people like, you guys aren't too bad. And other people, they, they portray as this loving, kind person on the internet, but in real life, they're arrogant fuckers. They're fake as fuck. They're backstabbing and they're, they're just focused on the money or whatever. Or, the, or they get a bit of power and just go straight to the head and it's like, it's crazy. So why is there so many fake people in the raw foods industry, scene, community, whatever? I think it's because there's a lot of narcissists here. And a little bit of narcissism is okay, but when your level of narcissism just infuses your whole life and you just fucking tread on people to get another step up, Especially when those people have been, it's like, we've been, help, like, let's be honest and real. Freely and myself, we have the largest social media presence. Our forum, it's the biggest Raw Foods forum ever created, most popular. YouTube, I've got over 52 million hits on this one channel, Freely's channel. you got extra, and you got all the people who upload my videos and stuff like that, our videos. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. So we have the biggest social media presence, right? So we thought, well, we can use that and help other people get started. Doesn't really work that way. You help people. If you give them a helping hand and they get up over the fence to show their face, hey guys, here's me, and then they look down at you and just give you a kick in the nose <laughs> or rub some dog shit in your face. It's just crazy, man. So, I don't know. We'll keep, you know, we, we're just generous people. People who spend time with us will understand that we give our time to people who, who want it. People want to help themselves. And yeah, occasionally you get a few scorpions amongst the the little baby chicks, you know? But that's just life, I guess. That's life. A lot of people mistake kindness for weakness. They've been brought up to mistake kindness for weakness. That person helps you out, mm, good. Fucking use them, abuse them. It's crazy. It happens a lot. Why does it happen to us? Because we give. If you're going to give to people, you're going to get a few people, minority, that take advantage of that. It's just how it is. Does it mean you should stop giving? 
I don't think it does. Maybe be more discerning? For sure. It's all learning. Life's all about learning. So that's uh, just what I want to say, a little bit of a rant about, you know, it's just it's crazy, man. So come to the type, the other little tile of Raw Fuel 4 fruit gig. Post links down below. There's no money involved. There's no fake people involved. It's real food. It's real fun. We're not trying to create this micro-economy to funnel you into like $10,000 fasting retreats where you might end up in hospital with anemia or fucking dead or whatever or end up funneling you into some retreat and teaches you just, just eat a little bit of fruit and not too much or, or whatever. We're not about that at all. We want to help you give you basic everyday lifestyle tips, dietary advice, training experience. Come out and hang with us, man. You can't get any, you won't get any of this level of coaching. No matter how much you pay, you wouldn't get this level. Because you know why? Because we actually give a fuck. We give a fuck. It's not about how much money you give us. We don't even do coaching anymore. We're like, what's the point? Just give people information for free or buy a $30 book of freelies or whatever. Make it affordable for the masses versus create this micro-economy that only people with a lot of money can, can do. That's just... That's not going to change the world. You're not going to change the world focusing on the 0.1%. You're going to change the world by having a program anyone can do. So that's my little rant there. Disappointed, but motivated more than ever before. Because every little bit of negativity, it just teaches you more about yourself, more about your communication skills, etc. Makes me a better person. <laughs> we got deleted, or well, I got deleted off of so many forums, we had to create 30 bananas a day. We got kicked out of the Woodstock Fruit Fest. We're well, not kicked out, but you know, pretty much shown this is what we think of you guys. Fuck is. Yeah, cool, you've promoted us and done. Yeah, fuck is. Basically, that's what happened. So we created the Thai Fruit Festival, and that became like a bit of a mess for a bit. So we're like, let's just put it on our chests, on our, pun intended, let's put it here on our hearts, in our hands, and let's, me and Freely, let's us do it versus rely on other people to do it and then get involved with all the politics and drama. So we're taking away all those negative people, the corporate motivation, the money motivation, and making it pure. This is the most pure retreat, most pure event on the planet I can think of. I'm sure there's something close, but you know what I mean. In this community, because we've, we just want to celebrate the genuineness, the authenticity of, of fruits, of the vegan lifestyle, without having to make it corporate, and oh, you can't attend because you don't have enough money, or blah, 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 whatever. We'll make it open to everyone. Even the local Thai community can come and hang out with us. No one, no local Costa Rican can go and hang out at Doug's retreat and, and, and learn unless they've got ten thousand dollars. That's fine. That's what people, some people are into, you know. But we're not. We're about the people versus pure profit. Put your pop, people, put people before profits, above all, and then you'll have more satisfaction in life, and probably less want to abuse the people that have helped you a lot. That's my little comments for the day. Post your comments and questions down below. Get back to eating some more bananas. See you soon.